Ten African countries are working to divide the African continent in two. An ambitious pan-African effort to protect arable land from the encroaching Sahara Desert by planting trees from Senegal in the west all the way to Djibouti in the east. Dubbed the Great Green Wall, it is an African-led plan with an ambition to grow an 8,000-kilometer green wall across the entire width of Africa. Designed not to keep migrants out or keep smuggled goods in check, but to trap the sands of the Sahara, halt the advance of the world's largest hot desert and restore 100 million hectares of land to agricultural productivity. Once complete, the Great Green Wall made of trees, grasslands and plants will be the largest living structure on the planet, a whopping three times larger than the Great Barrier Reef. More than a decade in and roughly 15% underway, the Green Wall looks to not only help rein in climate change but also to improve food security and create green jobs. The United Nations predicts over 50 million people will be at risk of being forced from their homes by unchecked desertification in the next decade, equivalent to the entire population of South Africa or South Korea. This is where the Great Green Wall comes in. It has become the world's most ambitious reforestation agenda and could save an entire region from ecological collapse. To reach the target by 2030, the Great Green Wall countries need to restore on average 20 million acres of land every year at an annual financial investment of 4.5 billion US dollars. Seven years away from its deadline, there is still a long way to go. However, once complete, there is no question that the 15-kilometer-wide Great Green Wall of Africa will have a global impact.